Today I will show you how to make these brain art effects that you see in today's music videos such as Che or Osama's on music videos. Alright guys, so the first thing we can do is actually make the brain art color correction, I guess I can call it. Uh, so for this uh, brain art color correction, we need to go to the resolution and drop it to third actually because if you see the music videos, they're very low quality usually. And now let's add S JPEG damage. Now for other effects you will not need uh, any plugins but for this you actually need a sapphire. Here I just basically changed nothing. I think it looks good as it is. And now let's add S blur and this also needs a sapphire plugin and here we can make the blur amount to like 4. Although you definitely don't need just the blur as blur like you can make any other blur it's fine. And this is basically the brain rot color correction and whenever you render make sure to render in third. I will show you later on how to do that and if you want you can save this as a preset so like you can press ctrl a go to animation save animation preset and here you can call it like brain rot cc and press save so you will never have to actually make this again and just you will be able to go to effects and presets and type brain rot cc another important thing we should probably do uh, is press ctrl y and add an effect called motion tile in most of these music videos they just have the output width to 75 so let's just do it like right now as you can see like the black bars will pop up right here now we can start making the fun part which is the brain rot i guess uh, border i don't know how you want to call it but it's very popular in the chain music videos as you might have seen in the miley cyrus music video all right so let's start making the border so how do we make the border well we can go to uh, this rectangle tool yeah just select it and now we can just draw it but make sure you're not selecting any layer so just like click out of that because then it's just gonna draw on top of the layer and just draw something like this like almost like a square just make sure it's not in the border that's right here here i actually want to make some kind of like a stroke so i'm gonna make the stroke to 15 and make the stroke color to dark and now go to fill like press here and make it to none so we're gonna have like this sort of like a border here and now what we can do is actually go to this button right here pan behind hold control and double press on it we basically will position this to the middle and let's go to align and press here and here so we just want to position it to the middle like the border we just want to have to the middle you know and what we can do now is duplicate it by pressing control d and here we want to go to stroke and we want to make this actually white and we need to make the pixels to two here like of course guys interpret this in your own way i'm just teaching you guys how to make these brain rotted borders uh you can make this however you want i'm just gonna show you my way and yeah you can make it like this you can make different colors whatever you want it's very much fine uh, i will actually later on make this a bit more uh, like pink purple you know so now a fun part we can do is like make this border look a bit cooler so in order to do this we can draw whatever we want and to draw whatever we want we need to go to this pen tool right here and we can just start drawing like whatever like like this uh, i like to draw like these kind of like spikes yeah just draw it like this 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 like basically do it whatever i will probably like fix this up a bit more like now i'm just drawing whatever like do whatever you want uh, design it you can take a long time you can take just barely any amount of time like i'm taking right now like i don't recommend taking a lot of time on this like, it's a it's a very simple task to draw a border and it's, it doesn't need to look that good because it's just a brain art effect at the end of the day okay so now let's just draw the border once you finish drawing the border, uh, you need to press on this right here. Like basically you need to connect it and now go to the fill and now you want to actually turn on the fill. So yeah, press here. Yeah. And just turn back on the fill and the stroke to two actually fits very well here. I actually have the tutorial intro done right here. So this is the ending result here. I actually drew it like this, uh, as you can see, I'm going to add the glow right now. So I'm actually just going to press control C and control V here. Cause I want to show you this way. Okay. Yeah. So let's have my border like this so you can and copy like the patterns if you want whatever like this was very random by the way so another thing i like to do here is of course add the glow as you saw oh i just remember yeah you do need some plugins here so now you will need deep glow like when you add this uh you can add uh, different glows and uh, it should work just fine but i'm just gonna show you like in deep glow so i like to make the exposure here to 0.72 the radius to 99 it needs to look kind of bad that's like the whole point of this look you know uh, one thing i forgot to mention is all of these shape layers have to be brought down below below our color correction just to make it look worse you know so this is how it looks now when we draw it below the color correction now it looks very bad but that's very good for us and now let's go to input and i like to make the threshold here to 25 percent and another thing i like to do here is add s tint and here i just like to make it to this purple i guess or i don't know what like color this is yeah like sort of like a purple color and i like to make the source saturation to 0.92 and scale lights to 0.99 also that's barely any difference to be honest 
know what I think about it. And the last effect we'll add on the shape layer is glow. And I like to just make the glow radius to 101 here, and but the intensity to not one because that's like very much, but to 0 0.1. And this is looking amazing right now, I think. Uh, we can actually pre-compose it right like this and press OK. And what I like to do here is while selecting this pre-composition, I like to go to the pen tool. I like to cut out like the middle, like right here. And let's press M and select the inverted one. So now our border will look like something like this, I guess. I think that's very, very cool. Another thing I want to mention is in Deep Glow, you should also go to Style and here it's Tint and also enable it and select the, the, this color. Because if you don't, it's gonna look like the previous version and now this is the new version. So yeah, just make sure to also have this. And yeah, I entered basically the pre-composition and I renamed it to Shapes. And this is how you will have the look now. Super dope look. And I mean, really, now we can just do whatever we want. So we can draw more. So that's what I actually want to do. We can draw like a cross here, you know, as I saw in the chain music video, they did some cross. Start drawing like this, like make something like that. Yeah, and uncheck that and now make something more. Make whatever layers you want. Uh, it can be whatever, like basically anything. It just spam it. Uh, you can spam whatever. I think it's going to look dope, whatever you do. Remember that it's just going to look distorted anyways. Like, okay, and now let's end this. Sure, that could work. I get whatever. I did it a bit different in the intro. Uh, sure, if that works for you, that's amazing. And now let's select all of these shape layers that like we had here. These ones, the ones we just made, not the other ones. And uh, pre-compose them. I guess we can call like shapes two. And we can go to the glow we actually made. Oh yeah, also drag it below the color correction. And let's go to the shapes layer like we had and go to this effect layer like where we had the deep glow, S tint and glow and press control A and press control C. Go back to the main composition and go on the shapes too uh, on this like cross layer and press control V. And here we have it. This looks very cool, very edgy, very random guys, like the very random stuff here. And another thing you can do is go to the description and I have linked a uh, a brain art school animation that i made for you guys uh it's a completely free download it's just like from a google drive link or, or wherever i'll have it i don't even know so yeah just download it and you'll have this like a little uh animation uh, i made it with uh, ai actually and uh, let's drop it below somewhere like here maybe and style looks just very cool and yeah we can like scale it down to maybe like 70 to fit it a bit more and yeah we can drag it uh, i guess on top of the cross and what i like to do is also add more schools you can add like how many you want here i like to also press ctrl d on the school layer and go two frames forward and have like this school and drop it like below and let's make this one scale like press s and make it like 55 percent you know just less and you will have this right here now that looks very cool in my opinion it's just gonna change the schools if you're wondering how i made the schools like yeah i just went to chat gpt i have like the bot version and i just i just asked to make three different photos of a school and make them low quality it didn't make them low quality but it made them like this and you can do that for like any animation you want basically with uh, chat gpt or or whatever other software you have maybe for chat gpt it's possible to do this with the free version i have no idea and this is how it looks on the chain music video by the way but i want to show you another effect how to make another effect that i love in the chain music videos which i saw it's sort of like an opium effect i guess because it has like the black and white aesthetic this is for sure one of my favorite effects so let's go below everything like below all of this like uh brain rot i don't know like layer we made and we can press ctrl y here we can just cut it up a bit i guess i don't know like just this clip or something like, i love this music video this is pretty heavy on your computer by the way because my computer is lagging it actually crashed my adobe after effects while filming but hopefully it's gonna be okay for you and now let's add threshold on this layer now that instantly looks so cool this is like one of the effects that you see in the chain music videos and yeah you can just keep it like that or you can keep adding like for example like if you add exposure you can expose it a bit more to like nine maybe like expose it too much i don't even know if that does anything too much and another thing if you want to damage it even more you can add sjpeg damage and this will just be complete brain rot if you make the quality like 0.08 here you have like the most damaged look i don't even know this looks crazy very cool from brain rot effects like look at that you can also say this as a preset just do the other method i did like uh, animation saving as preset but it's very important to have this on third quality because if you don't it's gonna look kind of lame on full i'm not gonna lie this how it looks on full i mean sure that is kind of cool 
I like it, like lower quality to half is pretty cool. Third is the best, I think. Core, you might be going a bit too far. And if you want to render this out, then you actually have to go to composition, add to render queue. And here, it's very important to go to best settings and make the resolution to third, because we have it on third here. And press OK and go to lossless and also go to resize, although you don't need to, but you can press resize and press OK. And then you can render it out. This is the only way you'll be able to like have it on third quality. And yeah, guys, I'm, I'm thinking of doing more brain art tutorials in the future. And I also want to let you know that I have my povicos.com website in which I have these really cool opium effects or flicker effects which work very well with these type of music videos uh, especially the opium effect I personally believe I want to show you what effects you could have from the opium pack mixed in with this brain art style uh, so for the opium pack I would personally set it to half quality if you have it and let's just turn off like one of these effects and you could add it below everything and you can add like an adjustment line press control Y. if you have the opium presets pack you can type opium and a really cool effect for the style is opium 11 this looks dope. I think it's like a, I don't even know how to explain this uh, effect, but it just also pretty brain rot and also very damaged look. That is probably one of my favorite looks in the whole editing game. It's a killer look, definitely. Uh, I don't recommend like going to third and also to full as well. I just love it on half on this one. So if you have the opium pieces back, like abuse this effect how much you want. Like I really recommend it. Also, let's delete it. And another effect that I think is very similar to the brain rot style is opium 14. If you have it on half quality, Quality, though that looks very cool as well it really brings out the brain rot as well I don't, I don't know how to say it uh, in my opinion at least another really dope effect I think is also opium 6 it kind of overexposes the whole look and it just looks fantastic and I also recommend having this on half uh, although you can mess around with the other qualities but that looks amazing and if you guys want the $5 discount code on the opium pieces pack or actually whatever pack it's going to be called povicas if you use code povicas you will save $5 off in the checkout but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you guys want more brain art tutorials then please let me know and if you guys have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya